Back at it here at Shamrock Fighting Championships as we move back into the world of kickboxing as Hannah Lavely takes on Danielle Thomason. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the cage, Danielle Thomason. Coming to the cage by way of Cape Girardeau, Missouri, out of War Eagle fight team, it is Danielle Thomason. The 23-year-old has been training for over five years and started fighting competitively at the age of 18. Now, although she's coming off a first loss in her last outing, she said, it got me back motivated. I went to training harder. She said that, you know, she was brawling in the streets since she was a youngster. So she says, the fight world is what I'm all about tonight. Yeah, she's a, she's a very dangerous fighter. This is going to be an exciting kickboxing match. She told me that she found the world of combat sports by actually watching street beef videos on YouTube. You know, we all have a journey. You got to start somewhere. <laughs> I remember growing up watching Kimbo Slice on, exactly. on, on the internet. So Ugh. whatever motivates you. And her opponent, Hannah Lavely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming to the cage, it is Hannah Lavely by way of St. Louis, Missouri, sporting a two and one record also here. Over 10 years of training, coming off a loss in her last outing, the 24 year old told me that she got worked really, really hard in this camp by Shamrock FC vet Chris Craig. Found kickboxing as a hobby, another way that a lot of the people make it into this. They, they start training for fitness, and then next thing you know, I kind of like punching people. Starts as a hobby and turns into a passion. As we go to our supplement superstores, tail of the tape, Hannah Lavely, 24 years old, 5'5", five 132.6 five, pounds. Danielle Thomason, 23 years old, 5'6", 135.2 pounds. Hannah's no stranger to the Shamrock FC cage. She feels very confident coming into this. She said the biggest thing though is after her loss, she worked on staying focused. Because sometimes you take a big shot, you kind of lose where you're at. Yeah, come a little gun shy in there sometimes. You know, see how you bounce back. Ladies and gentlemen, the following is a kickboxing matchup scheduled for three rounds in the Shamrock FC 135 pound kickboxing division. Introducing first on my right, fighting out of the FM roofing blue corner. Her record, two wins, one defeat. She stands five feet, six inches tall. Official weight, 135.2 pounds. Fighting out of Cape Girardeau, Missouri, Danielle Thomason. And her opponent across the cage fighting out of the first form red corner. Her record, two wins, one defeat. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighed in 132.6 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Hannah Lavely. Danielle Thomason looks very focused. Hannah Lavely living for the moment here. Yeah, I was, I was seeing that same thing. <laughs> Referee Josh Stewart has the call for this contest. This fight is three two-minute rounds. Hannah Lavely in the red tape. Danielle Thomason in the blue. Oh, huge jab out of Thomason. Thomason's hands are quick. Very fast. Beautiful jabs. Nice head movement. Staying on the outside. Nice combo. Oh. Big right hand lands. Throwing those low calf kicks. Hannah's coming forward. Nice push Thomason kick there. using those kicks really kind of almost as a jab. 
Yeah, her she's very quick. Her her hand speed is very impressive. Beautiful combos, different angles she's throwing at. Nice low calf kicks. Lavely's still coming forward. Yeah, Hannah's just eating those shots, coming forward. Oh, big right hand. Yeah, you know, kind of fanned with that, you know, with that jab and threw that right over the top. Goes to the body. Hannah just keeps coming forward though. Seems unfazed. Yeah, Hannah is tough. Nice low leg kick out of Lavely. Big combinations there out of Thomason. Yeah, a lot of great action by both these women. Lots of movement. Both these women are picking their shots. Hannah's just pressuring, pressuring, pressuring. You know, for someone who says she started brawling in the street, she sure got a lot of technique. Lavely still pushing forward though. Really, the tail of this first round is the punch, volume, and hand speed out of Danielle Thomason. Yeah, lots of volume. She, her hands are very fast. She was mixing up her combos very well. Uh, but Hannah just ate those shots and kept coming forward. And, and the majority of that round was Hannah moving forward. So we got we got got to wonder, you know, what is leaving the bigger impression in the judges' minds? Is it the pressure of Hannah, or is it? you know, the, the combos and hand speed of Danielle. Let's take a look here at our first bout in the instant replay. Again, we see Lavely coming forward, but really it's kind of the story of that front jab. Then throws that big right hand there out of Thomas and finding a home. Yeah, you know, Danielle does a really good job keeping her hands up, throwing, countering. Uh, but again, Hannah just pressure, pressure, pressure. Very unfazed. Second round. Hannah Lavely in the red. Danielle Thomason in the blue. Opens up with that push kick. Big Superman, Superman punch. punch. Jeremy Johnson along with Adam Meredith here live from Ameristar Casino in St. Charles, Missouri for Shamrock FC 351. Both of these ladies getting at it. Oh, oh nice. going downstairs, then back up. Answers again with a jab. You know, Hannah is just coming forward, coming forward, but she's eating a ton of shots. Yeah, she is taking a ton of punishment here in this. You know, Danielle's combinations are very impressive. She's, she's mixing it up, she's going high, she's going low, she's mixing in the punches with the kicks. Oh, nice nice upstairs kick there by, by Lavely. Answered back from Thomason. Yeah, Hannah's landing some great shots of her own. Just coming forward, coming forward. Lavely trying to slip there, looked good with that. Another big Superman punch finds a home. Yeah, you know, I would like to see more head movement out of Hannah. She's coming forward, but she's not really, you know, taking her head off the center line, especially when she throws. She's just coming forward, eating a lot of shots. Nice body shot there by Hannah. Trade jabs there, goes up high. Beautiful counter by Danielle. Yeah. She caught that, threw a kick of her own. Unfazed, unfazed, but you know, Danielle's moving backwards a lot but she's making she's you know she's, she's making it count exactly she's making it count she's landing her shot she's creating offense down to 10 seconds remaining here in the second round oh, beautiful uppercut man these women are getting after it this absolutely is, this is a very high level technical fight right here these are just they're both still amateurs which is unbelievable 
So if you were in the corner here, as we were looking at Hannah Lavely, what advice are you going to give her? You know, I love the pressure, but you got to move your head. Shamrock you got to move your head. Create some angles. It's great that you're coming forward, but let's create some angles to open up some opportunities. We can't just power forward and keep eating these shots. So let's take a look here at our instant replay. Again, as we see Hannah Lavely coming forward, but really, again, the hand speed here of Thomason. Yeah, you know, Hannah went, went with a head kick there. You know, Daniel is able to block that. Again, just back and forth between these two. Lots of good shots. Daniel's doing a fantastic job landing that jab, keeping that jab in Hannah's face. Third and final round. Ooh, nice right hand landed by Danielle. Ooh, she cut an angle there. Oh, oh another right hand landed beautifully. Another Thomason one. Thomason is turning up the volume again. Oh! oh, big head kick. That's a knockdown. Lavely sat her down. You know, depending on how those other two rounds were solved by the judge, that could have been. Yeah. Wow. We got time in this round, but man, that that was an amazing head kick by Hannah. That was a highlight reel if I ever saw one. Danielle bounced right back up though. She's ready and she's putting the pressure right back on. Hannah's just coming forward, coming forward. She tries to go high again. Again out of Lavely. Lavesley pushing hard here. Nice jab there. Eats a jab, and then the check hook from Thomason. These women are just going to war right now. They're just battling it out. So far, Adam, this is my fight of the night. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you, Jeremy. There's a lot of action here. Very technical. Got 25 seconds left. Not a lot of time here. Both ladies leaving it all in the cage. Another Ooh, nice big Superman one punch. finds a home. Another leg kick there. Hannah's just coming for it, eating those shots. Both of these ladies here just letting them fly. What a fight! That was a fight right there. That one put the audience on its feet. Oh my goodness. I don't know how you score that one. That was an amazing fight. A beautiful, beautiful display out of both of these ladies here in the Shamrock FC cage. Don't forget that we have more action to come as we still have our co-main event, which will feature Carl Jefferson taking on Matt Tinker. But right now, let's go to our instant replay here. Again, we see that jab coming out of Lavely, starting to back her up. Big head kick right finds a chin. home and sets Daniel Thomason down. Yeah, right on the chin. But she recovered very quickly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she bounced right back up. But, uh, you know, doesn't change the fact that it happened. What a display, ladies and gentlemen. You know, depending on how they saw those other two rounds, I mean, that head kick could have sealed the deal. It very well could have. This is an extremely close fight. I mean, that makes it a 10-8 a, a, a round. Yes. So, I mean, could be a draw. You know, who it, knows? Who knows? We shall see. I hope that if it is a draw that we get to see this one again. Oh yeah, I would love to see this one run back. That was just fun to watch. The entirety of the time, just nonstop action. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a decision has been made. Let's send it up to the cage to Joe Parisi to make it official.
At the conclusion of our three scheduled rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, where the judges at cage side have scored this contest 29-28, 28-28, and 28-28. Your winner by majority draw, Danielle Thomason! Okay, Adam, for the people at home, we need to explain this one. So basically, two judges... Scored a draw. Right. Right, so that means they saw the, what, first two rounds for Danielle, All third right. round for... Hannah. Ladies and gentlemen, Correct. they have informed me that there is a fi no official win on a majority draw. One. So, yeah, so basically it is a majority draw. There's not an official saw that winner. It was a 28-28. Right. So they, it was a majority... To that. So since both of those judges saw it as a draw, there is no winner in this. Right. So that was just, yeah, that was a mistake. There was no winner. It is a draw. It is a draw. He gave me her. I really hope they run that back. I hope so too. You know, it had, again, this is just the fight game, but, you know, if that kick hadn't landed, then Danielle probably would have won that Absolutely. fight. Absolutely. A beautiful fight. Nothing like a little controversy at the end, but we have more action to come. We're going to take a short intermission, and we'll be right back here in a few minutes at Shamrock Fighting Championships.